Good morning and welcome to the JMCSS podcast for the district. I'm Greg Hammond, Chief of Public Information for the Jackson Madison County School System. 13,000 students are gaining quality academic instruction, tuition free, in our public schools. Today, we'll visit with Principal Jennifer Bauer. She's the lead administrator at Liberty Technology High School, and we'll also visit with a pair of Crusader students. Of course, Liberty offers one of the most robust high school options in Madison County. For the district, the JMCSS podcast is a production of the Jackson Madison County School System in partnership with Forever Communications. You can listen to this episode on demand on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Principal Ballard, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. Trey, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It, it's, it's funny. I was at a JCM Early College High the other day. Mm -hmm. Of course, I moved from the classroom to the uh, from the central office in 2020. So the juniors uh, now were freshmen when I first met them. Mm -hmm. So there were several students that I spoke to and didn't really realize who they were until I was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember you. But, you know, they're all taller and, mm -hmm. and older now. So uh, it's, it's fun to see... Uh, students uh, mm -hmm. when we get to see them outside of the classroom. Principal Ballard, I'm going to start asking you uh, the question we ask all of our, our visitors here on the podcast. Did you always know you wanted to work in education? I did. Uh, as a child, I would always teach my teddy bears or my dolls um, reading or, or whatever uh, academic area. Uh, so, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. Now, Principal Ballot, tell us about your background. You're the principal at Liberty Tech right now, but mm -hmm. uh, are you a Jackson native? Uh, tell us about that. I am a Jackson native. I'm a proud graduate, 1992 graduate from Northside High School. So go Indians. <laughs> um, when I uh, went to college, um, I did go to Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. So I'm a proud graduate. Tennessee State, Nashville, uh, came back home, got married, and the rest is history. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, there are two students joining us today. Uh, Trey Marsh uh, is with us uh, right now. Jaden Graves will join us later. Now, Trey, uh, you're actually one of the poster uh, students <laughs> for our school system. Uh, we produced videos to show uh, middle school students these uh, high school pre previews, and you are uh, one of the students that's in the Liberty video. So if you're listening to the podcast and you haven't seen the uh, Liberty video, I encourage you to go to YouTube to check out Trey. Now, Trey, you're a star on the campus. Uh, I know you're in agriculture. Uh, you're in choir. And uh, what else do you do there at Liberty? Well, I'm a part of SGA, of course. I am a part of the band. I participate in FFA, DECA, and I'm also beta president. Uh, so folks at home may not know, that Student Government Association. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a leader at Liberty? Well, it gets pretty challenging because, I mean, of course, you have to be a role model to the students. And not only that, you have to realize that you being a role model to the students is a job like you're a teacher, of course. You have to step into that role and be able to keep your composure when it comes down to difficult situations. But at the same time, you have to know how to communicate with the student and have to have to get your point across in a professional way. Yeah, and uh, we want to thank students like Trey across the district for their dedication because uh, as we have different in-service events mm -hmm. and students perform, uh, although it's summertime, uh, those students are giving back and dedicating uh, their last days of summer uh, to join us, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the fine arts. So uh, we appreciate that. Uh, Principal Ballard, and again, we're visiting with Principal Jennifer Ballard of uh, Liberty Technology Magnet High School. Uh, star student Trey Marsh and Jaden Graves will join us uh, momentarily. Tell us a little bit about your leadership team there at, at Liberty. Okay. Um, I have two assistant principals, uh, Ms. Kirk, who has a counseling background, uh, Mr. Gennaro, who has a music and an English background. Um, so we have a, my leadership team is, is very diverse. Um, I have two counselors. I also have a dean of students that we added this year, um, Mr. 
Dean, uh, Dean Preston Barbie, who uh, has a Coach uh, Barbie. Coach Barbie. Yeah. yeah, but we're trying to move him out of the coaching oh, really? into Dean. Okay, he's, he's Dean Barbie now. All right. So he has the coaching background. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a dropout prevention specialist, Nick Harris. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk about has, that. Talk about that for a minute. So, Mr. Uh, Harris is. Uh, we have a, a issue with our attendance, and, mm-hmm. and that's not just Liberty. That's across Right, particularly coming yeah. out of COVID, it's, it's right. a little bit of a national issue. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, he finds those students. Mm-hmm. You know, he's communicating with parents. He's providing supports yeah. um, so that it, students can come to school without distractions. Mm-hmm. So um, we're grateful for him. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cybersecurity class, mm-hmm. and uh, these are students – uh, that I've met uh, previously, but about a week ago, they were at the central office at a board, uh, a committee meeting, and providing their feedback and recommendations for school safety. Uh, I know you're proud of that group, oh, yes. uh, Coach Wallace and his team. Talk about those students that recently recently presented uh, to the school board. So I just posed a question one day. Um, I always walk by their classrooms, and so I popped in one day. I said, I want to give you all a project. I want you to look at our check-in system and see how we can improve it. And so um, that turned into like a whole 360 assessment of the whole school. <laughs> Um, they went to uh, look at grounds. They were looking inside, outside cameras. And so they presented it to me uh, and the leadership team. And I was just blown away. And I said, oh, I, I have to let the district hear about this. So uh, we had a schedule a presentation for them to present to the district. And then it took off from there. And then the district had them present to the school board. So uh, that I'm so proud of that group. And it was just a question that I asked them. And they turned it into this amazing presentation. The board members were proud of the students. And uh, uh, Chairman uh, Johnson uh, has been talking about it for a while. And I was impressed. Uh, Scott Gatlin, who's a board member, mm-hmm. he has a background in safety. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when you impress someone who has a background in safety, oh, wow. you know uh, you're doing the right thing. So uh, very uh, proud and appreciative of uh, uh, Coach, Coach Wallace, Wallace. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and Wallace. those students. Again, if you don't follow JMCSS on social media, we want to encourage you not only follow the school system, but you can also follow our individual schools. Mm-hmm. We're visiting with Jennifer Ballard. She's principal at Liberty Technology High School. We're also joined by Trey Marsh, a star student at Liberty. And a little later, we'll visit, and Trey's a senior. Yes. A little later, we'll visit with uh, a junior, Jaden Graves. They're both uh, student government representatives at Liberty. We're going to take a quick time out. Don't go anywhere. We have more conversation on the other side of the break. You're listening to For the District, the JMCSS podcast on JJ 97.7 FM. The Jackson Madison County School System, Jackson, Tennessee's second largest employer, is recruiting talent for all departments and positions in preparation for the 2023 2024 school year. Join us on Tuesday, March 21st from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m at Liberty Technology High School for the JMCSS Career Fair. JMCSS has employment opportunities for teachers, skilled maintenance, bus drivers, food service, and more. Earn competitive pay and enjoy a flexible schedule in one of West Tennessee's most affordable communities. Join us on Tuesday, March 21st at Liberty Technology High School in Jackson for the JMCSS Career Fair. For more, log on to jmcss.org. That's jmcss.org. Choose us, Jackson Madison County Schools. Hello, I'm Camden Womack, a star student at Arlington Elementary, and you're watching for the district. Now back to the show. Welcome back to the JMCSS podcast for the district. We're spotlighting the Jackson Madison County School System every Sunday right here on JJ 97.7 FM. We're visiting with Principal Jennifer Ballard. She's the lead administrator at Liberty Technology High School. Uh, Also a senior at Liberty, Trey Marsh, a star student. And a little later, we'll visit with Jaden Graves. She's a junior there on the Liberty campus. Uh, Cosmetology. I follow you guys on social media, <laughs> so I get to stay uh, up to date with what's going on there. Uh, talk about the cosmetology program 
And in this segment, we'll talk about a lot of the programs where those students are gaining certifications in real world experience. But for a moment, mm -hmm. talk about cosmetology, your decision to add that program, and what it has meant for the students on the Liberty campus. Okay. So um, when I first came to Liberty, I had a lot of conversation with students, just getting their input. What do you want to see uh, at Liberty? Um, what are we doing currently? Uh, what do we want to add? And cosmetology and barbering was one of those programs. And so um, it took a couple of years to get it started, but this year uh, we did add cosmetology and it's one of our largest programs, CTE programs. Um, and the students just recently, 22 of our students obtained their hair braider certification. Um, we had a, a, a huge reception for the, for the students um, and it's just, it's just, it's just added a, a whole different vibe to our school. And I, you think about job opportunities, mm -hmm. you know, if people don't do anything, they're going to take care of how they look. Oh, yeah. And so Most when definitely. you think about opportunities after high school, uh, nowhere in this district, no, no matter the school, uh, should a senior graduate and say, I don't have any options. Exactly. Because certainly uh, the, cosmetology, the cosmetology program there at Liberty is providing options. Yeah. I don't know what they could do for me. <laughs> um, they can do a lot for you. Okay. <laughs> and if you're listening on the radio, it's because I, I'm bald. <laughs> okay, hey, listen, veterinary and animal science. Uh, I knew about culinary, mm -hmm. but then uh, working at the district level, learning about the animal science, their program. Trey, you participate in animal science. Uh, talk about that program and your experience. Well, the animal science program is a pretty diverse program, of course. We have different animals out there. We just recently actually got some baby chickens. We mm -hmm. have about six or seven of those, and we also have a new bunny out there. And, of course, it just gives students an opportunity to just, you know, learn about the animals, learn how to properly take care of them and what's needed for them to survive. So, of course, the students, they have hands-on experience, of course, of grooming dogs. Um, they study. They, the um, agri-science teacher, Miss Ayosa, she actually brings her horses out there mm -hmm. for the students to, um, you know, experiment with and they examine the horses and label the different parts of the horses and different like that different things like that and they also have a cow now and they are still she said they st are still supposed to be getting a farm sooner or later mm -hmm. so that all the animals can go into it and so, so we, certain uh, many of the pieces are there, are there now principal about you're gonna say mm -hmm. yeah so we just uh, received funding for a therapy barn so that is coming uh, and we're really excited about that um and other things that we're adding in the upcoming years. That's so exciting. rural education in the big city of Jackson. And I know uh, students may hear about animal science or thinking about the FFA, Future Farmers of America, but Principal Ballard, you know, when I w participated in those interviews, interviewing your teachers and your students, and they told me very quickly about how this segues into opportunities into pre-medicine, uh, engineering, chemistry careers. Talk, give me uh, your, just your feedback on the opportunities that the uh, veterinary and animal science uh, program uh, produces mm -hmm. for the students. So we were kind of talking before break. Um, students are able to get dual enrollment credit hours toward college. Um, and with the rural education and agri-science, the the countless scholarships students are able to get through that program. I think you were just talking earlier about scholarships that you've been offered. Talk a little bit about those scholarships. Well, I've been offered a few scholarships as far as the, ag well, uh, as far as agriculture. I'm planning to attend Austin Peay State University for agricultural plant and soil science. And so I want to use, of course, the industry certification that I've received from the agriculture department at Liberty. I want to use that to help me go into my profession once I go into college. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So Trey has a plan. He has a plan. Talk about these opportunities, and uh, there. The thing I like about Liberty, uh, obviously, you guys have some of the traditional classes mm -hmm. when you think about Four welding mm -hmm. or uh, automotive. Thinking about career and technical, but the culinary department, mm -hmm. and there are already some of your graduates here in Jackson that have either gone into restaurants and uh, entered leadership, 
or gone out on their own mm-hmm. uh, to start a restaurant here in town. If you would for a moment, talk about the, the culinary arts. So we have a um, student-ran restaurant, uh, Taste of Liberty. Say that again. Taste of Liberty. <laughs> Ran by the students. students. So we have a state-of-the-art kitchen um, where students are preparing food and it, if you follow the district, then you see some of their work all over Jackson. Um, and we're excited about the opportunities this is providing our students. Um, yeah, We're visiting with Principal Jennifer Ballard. She's the lead administrator at Liberty High School. Also, Trey Marsh, who is a uh, student government uh, association officer mm-hmm. uh, there. And uh, a little later, we're going to visit with Jaden Graves. I know Jaden is a member of ROTC. Mm-hmm. And I know there are several points of pride for you on that oh, campus. Yes. Uh, but, and this may be kind of selfish on my part, uh, we see the ROTC throughout the city, you mm-hmm. know, representing us well. But I know uh, recently that the ROTC uh, received a Distinguished Unit Award. If you would, talk about uh, Major Honeycutt. And, and I'll I'll ask this question again uh, for Jaden, but just getting your comments about your uh, JROTC. Uh, they are a distinguished unit. They are, and uh, uh, just like our culinary arts students, you can see them all over the district uh, representing our school in, in such an awesome way. Um, I just received an email yesterday from Major Honeycutt that uh, – their program, they have to have a certain percentage to, I guess, meet quota. Mm -hmm. And they're like 108% above their quota. So uh, we are so proud of um, our our OTC students and um, the work that Major Honeycutt and Sergeant Moore are doing. Principal Ballard, uh, before we take a time out, we're going to give you a comment because I've been told uh, that we're going to clear the way and let your (laughs) students uh, close yes. us out and take care of this uh, last half of the show. So let me ask you, Principal Ballot, before you step away, what are some of your goals for that campus moving forward? You told us, you know, coming in, you polled the students, you found out they were interested in, in cosmetology and barbering, and I know you've made some other moves on campus. Take us behind the curtain just for a little bit, and um, looking into the next couple of years, mm-hmm. what are some of your goals for the Liberty Campus? So our mission is to ensure that every student is college, career, or military ready. So providing those opportunities for the students is is, is my main goal. And I want to hear from the students. Um, student interviews and uh, little private conversations, uh, we just want to make sure that we're creating opportunities for student success. Our theme this year is making boss moves and that boss stands for building opportunities for student success. I'm really excited about partnering with our innovation department. Um, We have some funds that are becoming available and the things that uh, that's going to open up for our students is is, going to be simply amazing. So stay tuned. When we return, we'll hear from Jaden Graves. She's the junior class president at Liberty High School. You're listening to For the District, the JMCSS podcast. That's right, the Jackson Madison County School System on JJ 97.7 FM. Hi, I'm Terrica Smith, a local attorney and proud JMCSS graduate, but I'm also a JMCSS parent. We chose Jackson Madison County Schools for educational options that are innovative and challenging. Whether it's the Academic Academy at Northeast or early college and career opportunities at JCM Early College High, JMCSS offers classes and programs that will prepare my son for college and beyond. Plus, JMCSS is a level five district and tuition free. It just makes sense. Hi, I'm Greg Hammond, Chief of Public Information for the Jackson Madison County School System. With an increased focus in the fine arts, athletics, workforce development, and early career opportunities for students, there's never been a better time to choose us. Tuition free, Jackson Madison County Schools. Visit jmcss.org today to schedule a tour or call 731-345-7011. Takaya, a star student at Arlington Elementary. You're watching for the district. Now back to the show. 
Welcome back to the JMCSS podcast for the district. I am Greg Hammond, Chief of Public Information for the Jackson Madison County School System. I am joined by two officers at Liberty High School. Trey Marsh is the senior class president at Liberty. We're also joined by Jaden Graves. She is the junior class president. Uh, Jaden, Trey, welcome to For the District. Thank you. Now, Jaden, I had a couple of questions about ROTC, and I know that you are an ROTC member. Mm -hmm. Talk about your role and your activities in the ROTC. All right. So as far as ROTC, this is my first year at Liberty. So coming to a new program, it was something different for me because I left from Navy. So coming from Navy, I never experienced a program like ours. Um, we do more like physical activity, um, not only physical activity. We do like a, a lot of hands-on learning that's like flying drones, that's like building things. Um, what's it called? Yeah, like rockets. We build rockets. But for clarification for folks that uh, uh, may be listening, so you were a part of a Navy uh-huh. JROTC. Now you're a part of an Air Force JROTC. Air Force, yes. And you're enjoying it. Uh-huh. I actually did love it, um, especially with the two instructors that I had. It was like a great leadership opportunity. They push you to try your best at all times. That was my favorite part about the program. Like, as much as you want to give up on something that you're doing, whether it's an ROTC or any other class, like, they're going to push you, regardless of the fact. Um, we have a lot of students in our program. Like like I said, coming from a different program, it's a large number of students. Like, it's crazy to see that much involvement in ROTC because you really don't see that in high school anymore. So it's as much involvement as we have, it makes it, like, more fun. You know, we go on field trips, a lot of field trips. Um, we do community service hours. Um, we enjoy helping the community. And you grow a lot of leadership skills from ROTC just Now, to Trey, I have to imagine you're probably glad she's a junior so you didn't have to run against her <laughs> this year. <laughs> talk, talk, talk about your campaign, uh, Trey, uh, being the senior class president. What was that process like, campaigning to get the votes from your peers? Well, campaigning, it was, it was pretty hard when I first decided right. to take up SGA simply because it was something new for me and I really didn't know much about what I was doing. Mm-hmm. So I of course I've tried to do my research and I, I took different different steps in order for me to get into this position. And of course last year with me being junior president last year, I I set that standard with the student body that I I was actually for the students. It wasn't something that I wanted to do for myself. Right. It was something that I wanted to do to improve our school. Now, again, I follow Liberty on social media, so I've seen photos of a, a ceremony you all had. Yes. Uh, talk about that. Was that related to SGA? Yes. It was. I feel like, okay, for me, it was a huge accomplishment because it was like my first year at Liberty. Like, I didn't expect to get like chosen for anything. I knew I was a leader. I've always been a leader. But I didn't think like other people had seen me as a leader. And like... At the beginning, it was bumpy. Like, we had some hard times. Like, we was trying to get it started. It it, it was hard. Um, We were trying to get meetings started, involving, making sure everybody wanted to do it, making sure everyone was on the same page. But when we did the induction ceremony, it it felt like, like a huge accomplishment just knowing that everybody knew how important it was to us. Like, it was something that... Like it was, I don't know. It it was just very important to us. And it mattered. Yeah, Yeah, it felt like everybody understood the importance of us being leaders. Trey, Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the ceremony. It was, and uh, I know you had a prominent role in the photos. (laughs) I saw you at the at the podium. So tell us about that. It was a very proud and relieving moment for me, Mm -hmm. simply because when we first started SGA at Liberty, it wasn't a lot of students that actually took it serious or that actually participated in it. And so once we did the induction ceremony this year, it gave me a sense of relief that our school was going to have some mm-hmm. students to step up and do what I was trying to get started, mm-hmm. what I what I really wanted for the school. And I I thank Ms. Ballard, of course, for allowing us to do the right. SGA program here at Liberty. 
Talk about your principal for a moment. Uh, I know you've known Principal Ballard, Trey, since you were in middle school, yes. at least. Uh, so for a moment, talk about Principal Ballard, uh, seeing her transition from a middle school uh, administrator to now the lead administrator at Liberty High School. Me and Ms. Ballard have always had a good relationship. Since I first met her at Liberty, I felt like she was just one of those principals that were, they, you could tell that she cared about the students, right. even though... It may seem like to us that she was just being punished, like just, yeah, stern and just wanted to punish us. Growing up and maturing more from ninth grade year till now, I, I've seen what Miss Ballard was trying to do. I've seen the the purpose of her doing what she did, of course. Of course, when we first came, my ninth grade year, she started Freshman Academy. Oh. And it gave us an opportunity for all of us to be right there with each other and get to know the people that are in our class. You bring up a good point. That's something that Principal Ballard started on the campus. For folks at home, and help me if I'm wrong, but Freshman Academy is a, is essentially a two to three week a term where all the freshmen are together and they take those classes together for a period of time? Well, the um, two to three week term that I feel like you're referring to is the transition from the fine arts department. Okay. So it gave... For the students that were in Freshman Academy, it gave them an opportunity to experience each okay. fine arts department mm -hmm. and what it what it was like. And they were able to decide if they wanted to continue in that department or mm -hmm. if they could go to somewhere else. But Freshman Academy, of course, it was, of course, we were all on one hallway. And, of course, we had all of our classes together and everything like that. And... It was, it was just an opportunity for freshmen to get a feel of high school without having to worry about upperclassmen or anybody, mm -hmm. you know, getting in the way of us. So, of course, it gave us that opportunity to get to know each other. And we all said, of course, we set our boundaries, but at the same time, we became a family. And so you you would ask us ninth grade year how do we view Miss Ballard you you would have got a crazy world of stories, but if you ask us now how do we view Miss Ballard we all think of Miss Ballard as as our school mom pretty much because she shows us that she loves us and of course she if we do wrong of course she's going to have to discipline us mm -hmm. but she does it out of love. Trey, uh, as you mentioned, you're a senior. Just a few months left before you a transition to college at yes. Austin P. What advice would you give Jaden? Uh, and I, I guess think of it this way. What if you were a junior again? What would you do differently? So giving Jaden some advice uh, when, you know, in a few months, I'm sure she'll uh, work to uh, take over as a, a senior leader when it's her time. Most a class of 2024. Mm -hmm. So as the class of 2023, what advice would you give, Jaden? Well, something that I would say is just don't get over, too overwhelmed with it. Of course, being in this position, it a lot comes with it. A lot of responsibility comes with it. But don't let the controversy of other people affect how you want to be a leader, affect right. the decisions you want to make for your mm -hmm. school. And also, I would say don't let your friends try to influence the decisions you make. I, I'm... I ran into some problems with that last year, and it was things that I wish that we could have done this year. But due to me not me not trusting my own instinct and listening to others, you know, opinions, I changed what I wanted to do, right. and I, I regret it now. Jaden, I have a question for you. Now I know you're an ROTC. Uh, I know you're a member of the softball team. Question: What class or activity you are not currently involved in? are you the most curious about? Um, I would say culinary arts. Um, prior to coming to Liberty, I was big like on cooking. That's like my passion. That's actually something I enjoyed. I have a couple of scholarships in food science from UT Martin and UT Knoxville. That's like something I really wanted to do. Like that, that's, before I graduate, this is why I'm staying my whole senior year. But before I graduate, I'm going to make sure I go to, every other program, not only ROTC. Like, I want to be well-rounded for sure. We're visiting with Jaden Graves. She's junior class president at Liberty High School. And Trey Marsh, a, the senior class president at Liberty. Uh, real quick, we have about 40 seconds left. Uh, final comments about your school. Um, Liberty Tech is one of the greatest places that I would, could have ever been. I didn't want to come at first, but I'm glad that I decided to stay. Same for me. It was a hard decision to come to Liberty Tech, but now that I've came, I've made 
so many accomplishments. Definitely a leader. I met other leaders, and I'm glad to be a part of Liberty Tech. You've been listening to For the District, the JMCSS podcast. If uh, you're interested in hearing uh, previous episodes, we want to encourage you to go to radio731.com. You can listen to uh, other episodes because uh, some of the other episodes uh, we also visited with uh, students, and it's always uh, great to hear the student perspective. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Remember, you can listen to this on demand, uh, Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. We hope you have a great Sunday, and we'll see you next week.